Breaking news, my country people, it don't happen, no, guys. We never fit talk one, another one don't sop. Kasala don't bust, though. Amid all this war, this brutal kidnapping, this killing of innocent Nigerians, the poverty, the suffering across the nation, a group purported to be a Fulani jihadist have said that uh, they have declared full-blown jihad on the country and they have no apologies for their, for their actions. Now they have threatened to do this, that they are going to the Asorok and nobody will stop them. My country people this is quite serious so guys let's find out more as we hit the news but if you're joining us for the first time you're very much welcome i sincerely appreciate your presence kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you now my country people this fulani jihad have made threats that at this point this present government of uh ashwaji bola admit tinibu is daring them all. This Tinibu's administration has dared them. And the truth to be told, they are going to burn everything in Nigeria. And they will burn it to the ground because they don't care. At this point, they've said, this Tinibu is not their president. The current administration, they have no regard for it. The present, present, that's the present president, President Bola Admet Tinibu, is not their president. Even if he is going around deceiving people with the so-called Muslim Muslim arrangements, who cares? Because at this point, the Fulani person is going to occupy that Asorok. And they are going to occupy the Asorok and nobody will stop them. They will take over the seat of government, which is their rights, according to them. They want to direct every other operations from there. And at this point, they've said those that are asking of the military, when they strike, that Nigerians should forget about the military. They should forget about the military because the military cannot do anything against them. Now my country people, they've said as for the houses, those fools know better. They either live like this jihad or perish like the rest of the unbelievers. They don't care about their religion. They will go around burning down church and mocks because people are weak and stupid and their presence means no resistance. Now, the Yoruba thing they have a president. <laughs> Let them go and sleep and enjoy themselves. Now, what they did at Ilori would be like a child's play. At this point, they will see more in the recent times. But the middle belt think they are strong. Now what type of bravery without weapons? We shall make sure they have nothing to feed, defend themselves with. And we are almost done with them. They should remember what we did in Kaduna through our brother when we were in the government. These are very good lands. We have no apologies and we have, st and we have started. And at this point... Our royal father is proud of us. History has bestowed in our hands lands to accomplish. There is no going back. My country people, this is a statement that was dated January 26, 2024. It was issued and signed by one Omar Ami Sheyu and Badu Selusu. And it is all over the internet. It is all over the social media. They've taken turns to threaten, issuing, issuing you know, statements of taking over the Asorok. Guys, this is very, very serious. Now, amid the widespread kidnapping, the widespread killing of Nigerian Muslims and also Christians, these people have bragged that they are the ones behind this. And they are not sorry for what they are doing. And they will continue to do what they are doing until they get what they want. So it seems that they have declared war upon the presidents, the people of this great nation, of their plans. And it seems that they are not going back. My country people, this is quite serious. 
And at this point, I don't even know what to say. Because these guys are not invisible. They are somewhere. Now I wonder how come they wrote a statement as threatening as this. And the Nigerian army, the Nigerian military have not apprehended them. Guys, this is dangerous. And this would bring a lot of tension and panic in this country if this is not taken care of. Now imagine a set of people threatening Nigerians, threatening the president on how they will occupy the Asu Rock Villa and nothing will happen. Guys, what are your thoughts on this? I am really shocked and surprised that this statement is coming from Fulani, a Fulani Jihad. And they have made this statement also letting Nigerians know that they are coming and nobody is going to stop them. Not even the Nigerian military. Not even the president. Nobody will stop them. The Yoruba thing they have, they have a president. Well, they are deceiving themselves because Tinibu's Muslim, Muslim uh, arrangement is just there. But nothing is really working. Now, my country people, recently some Northerners had laid threats to the president claiming they would redraw their support from him ahead of the 2027 elections due to you know some uh, key departmental relocations from um, Abuja to Lagos they've made these threats on redrawing their support meanwhile some other northern groups are accusing the president some muslim groups are accusing the president of not being favorable to, the, to, to them, also favoring the Christians and leaving them out. Guys, this is a, you know, religious uh, crisis at this point. This is really, really, you know, serious. I really hope the Nigerian military gets to see this statement and spring into action before they take Nigerians on away. At this point, they've sent a message and I hope the Nigerian security agencies are listening. They've listed their achievements and what they've done against innocent Nigerians in this country. And according to them, who cares? Nobody will stop them. They will take over the seat of government because it's their right. Hey, my country people, it don't happen. No. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section.